last time in our last video, we were talking about we were talking about what this church will be in Revelation 12. So let's go to Revelation 12. But we actually, before we do, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us today. I ask that you continue to be with us and let us understand your word. In Jesus' name, amen. So let us go to Revelation chapter 12, verses 17. To pick back where we came from the other time. Revelation chapter 12, verses 17. And it says, And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So in our last video, we explained that this dragon was Satan, which is found in Revelation 12, verses 9. We, so we saw that this dragon was Satan, and then that we understood what this remnant was, that, the, that this remnant was the remaining people, um, was the remain of God's people, or the survivors, the overcomers from sin, or the ones that are faithful all the way with Christ. So we saw what this remnant was, and we also saw what this woman was. We saw that this woman, according to Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 2, in Song of Solomon chapter 1, we see that this church was a woman. This church was the woman. So now we're coming, I mean, I'm sorry. But this woman was the church so we so now we're coming back and seeing what church is this is this a right church is this a apostate church is this a false church is this a pure church so that's where we're going to pick up from you can go to revelation chapter 12 starting with verse 1 it says and there appeared a great wonder in heaven so the scene that we're about to see is taking is taken is going to happen in heaven and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman, or a church, clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. So we see in this first, in this first verse, there's a lot in this first verse. We see that there's a woman that's in heaven that's clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet and upon her head is a crown of 12 stars so what does this all mean well first let's break this down let's break this down let's read this over again we know what this woman is the, hold on let's read this and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman we know according to jeremiah chapter 6 verse 2 like we already said is a church so let's move on Clove with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. So we see these three things, the sun, the moon, the stars, first mentioned in Genesis. So let's go to Genesis chapter 1. In Genesis chapter 1, starting with verse 14. And it says, And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let there be signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He also, he made the stars also. So we see these two stars. The greater light is the sun, which rules the day. And the lesser light which is the moon to rule the night and he made the stars also so let's go back to verse 14 though to see if if what these mean what this sun this moon these stars mean in revelation 12. so it says that there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs or for symbols so we see that these are symbols in revelation chapter 12 that's the first thing that God said let these let these lights be for signs and then for seasons and for days and for years so now since we know that these are symbols or signs now let us see what this means first let's see what this Sun means let's go to Isaiah I'm sorry Malachi Malachi chapter 4 Malachi 
chapter 4 verses 1 and 2 to see what this sun is representing. Well, first, we're just going to read verse 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star of the stall. So we see that this son of this son it says son of righteousness. So this church is clothed is clothed with the son of righteousness. And then it says arise with healing in his wings. So we see since it says his that it must be a man, a man's wings. Well, let's go to Revelation chapter 1 to see what this man is with healing in its wings. Revelation chapter 1 verses 16. It says, and he, and he had in his right hand seven stars, meaning Christ, Jesus. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. So this sun is Christ, the sun of righteousness. So let's see also what this righteousness is. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 61 verses 10. Let's put this all together. Like it says in Isaiah chapter 28, scripture with scripture, line upon line, precept upon precept. So we want to continue to see what this is meaning. Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 10. And that says, I'm sorry, Isaiah, yeah, it's Isaiah chapter 61 verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. So we see that this righteousness, this robe of righteousness, this church will be clothed with this robe of righteousness and with Christ, which is this son. So if this church is clothed with Christ's righteousness, do you think this is a wicked church? No, this is a pure church. Now it says this moon. What is this moon? Let's go to Psalms chapter 89. Because it says in Revelation chapter 12 verses 1 that she is standing upon the moon. Or the moon is under her like a foundation. So let's see what this moon is. Psalms chapter 89 verses 2 and then we'll read verses 37. Psalm chapter 89 verses 2. For I have said mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in, very he in the very heavens. And now verse 37, it shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in heaven. So we see that this moon is the faithful witness. Because it says, as the moon and as a faithful witness. So if the moon reflects the sun and the sun is Christ, this moon must be the word of God. Because the word of God is the faithful witness and the word of God is testifies of Christ which is that son the word of God points to Christ or reflects Christ if you will and this moon is the lesser light and the sun which is Christ is the greater light so this word of God it is very powerful is that faithful witness this is a two-edged sword pointing to Christ pointing to that greater light reflecting that greater light so we, that should be our prayer, that we are, the, are those moons. When people see us around in the world, they know that you are reflecting Christ, are pointing towards Christ. You are that lesser light.